For an inexperienced keeper, the first time a tarantula molts is a tumultuous experience because the first thing you see in the morning when you wake up to check on your wonderful tarantula is that he looks dead. Oh my God, what did I do? The tarantula's dead, what did I do wrong? It's an agonizing situation because for all intents and purposes, he does look dead, he's not moving and the way he is positioned in the cage is upside down. That doesn't look good at all. Many people have thrown away a perfectly healthy tarantula thinking that it was dead, but they are just going through this process. Inside that exoskeleton, they're trying to get loose inside there. They want to be able to get that little top of their thorax off their body. It's actually like, I always equate it to the top of a tank, where a guy comes out of a tank when in the army. They pop off their tops, and the tarantula pulls all of his eight legs in, and he pops out of his skeleton and leaves this very, very fine molt behind. He's upside down in the cage looking dead. He's not dead. When a tarantula dies, he's right side up. He doesn't roll over and die. That's a molting tarantula. A tarantula who is in his usual position, not moving, with his legs curled inward, that's a dead one. If he's upside down, he's molting. Leave him alone. All you can do for a molting tarantula is keep the humidity up in the cage the best you can. Humidity will help get the shed off of him, much like in a snake. During that molting process, he's irritable, he's vulnerable, his skin is turning. You do not want to touch a molting tarantula. Just leave it be. Monitor it the best you can. Usually nature just takes its course and they find their way and they get out. And there's nothing you have to do to aid them or help them. It's a healthy process, it's part of their life cycle, it's natural, just expect it to happen and don't throw him away because he's upside down. He's just molting his skin.